Missing Hiker is a free-to-play horror game about trying to find your brother who got lost on a mountain and also making some terrible mistakes along the way. Like seriously, like the guy in this game that makes every single decision wrong. I don't know what he was thinking. Anyway, I hope you enjoy watching me get lost on a mountain. Hello and welcome to... <laughs> See, I'm not good at introductions. I'm just going to be honest with you guys. Uh, but welcome to Missing Hiker. Uh, this is a horror game I came across on Steam. I've actually been looking at a lot of free horror games on Steam just because I've been like morbidly curious. So this one seems like it's a bit more of a serious one, which I'm very excited to see how that turns out. Um, so yeah, uh, we're just going to jump right into this and just you know kind of see how it is, honestly. December 11th, 1994. My brother Ethan is missing for around 24 hours. He went on a hiking trip near the Red Mountain. He should have come home yesterday. I went to the local police. They said they don't have the resources for a search right now. So I decided to take matters into my own hands. I can respect the dedication. <laughs> you know what? Honestly, I probably would do the same thing too if uh, if it was my brother. Oh, I can, I can actually control the car. Oh, crap. It's a very nice atmosphere, honestly. I like it a lot. What's my speed right now? I can't tell what, how fast I'm going. That's, that's 40. I'm going like 45, maybe? Almost 50? We're on a rural road. We can go that fast, I think. I don't remember what the speed limit's like here. Oop. I don't know what that says, but okay. Oh. See, now if you see this on the road, that means you have to slow down because it's a sharp turn. I mean, I don't know if I should tell people that. I think most of you guys know how to drive. All right, there is an achievement for doing this. <laughs> okay. Okay. The only reason I did that was because I knew there was an achievement for it, and I just felt like doing it. Okay. So please, please don't think I'm just crazy, and I just immediately want to do, like, the worst thing, I promise. You can tell we're in America because we're driving on the right side of the road. Well, I mean, I don't actually know what other countries drive on the right side of the road. Isn't it like Europe as well? Or is Europe the left side? I, I don't remember. God, I haven't had snow where I lived in like years. We don't get we don't get snow much where I live anymore. We used to get like pretty decent snowfall at least like once or twice, but we're kind of lucky if we even get like one bit of snow nowadays. Like about like 10 years ago, we had like a blizzard that came through that was really hard. Um, but nowadays, like the past couple years, like we just barely get any snow. So whenever I see snow in real life, it's always like, it's always such like a phenomenal thing to look at. I mean, I'm glad I don't have to like live with snow. I will say that much. So that's nice. Let me guess, my gas is about to run out and I need to get more. Oh, oh, well, I guess it'll just automatically do it for me. Okay. Okay. I know how to drive. I promise. Um, the real question is, do they have parking spots available, or am I just dumb? Please, please don't run it. Don't I don't want to do all that again. <laughs> is there any parking spots over here? Listen, I'm just trying to find a parking spot. Oh, it's I'm right here, actually. Oh, here we go. Here we go. See, there you go. I, I wanted to park nicely. You're outside the car now. Wow, we move really fast. Holy crap. Man, my, my man is on a mission. I mean, I am trying to save my brother, so I, I am dedicated. Also, I am... I feel like I'm like... A, this car is either really freaking tiny or I am just really tall. Holy crap, this place is... This is such a small... Like, store. Holy crap. Choco cookies. We've got... Chickpeas, we've got watermelon juice, I think. Is that what that says? I don't know. Um Hey bro, don't mind me. We've got drinks, energy drinks, frozen food aisle. Ew, what do you want? I'm searching for my brother. He went missing while I'm hiking in this area. Uh, sorry to feed you, pal, but that's not my problem. Also, you shouldn't just randomly approach people like this, especially in this area. What do you mean? 
Hey, look, man. I worked pretty late. I just want to grab some snacks and beers and drive home. I'm not in the mood to talk with people I don't know. I understand. Sorry for bothering you. Yeah, um... Pretty... Pretty honest reaction. I, I, I don't... I'm not surprised. Like, I, I... It sounds like a dick thing to say, but honestly, I completely understand where he's coming from. Alright, buddy. Buddy, what's up? What can I do for you, sir? I'm searching for my brother. He was hiking around this area. He should have come home yesterday. Have you seen him? How does your brother look like? He has brown hair and is pretty tall. He also has a green backpack. Let me think for a second. Hmm. Yes, I think I saw you, brother. He came in here and bought a few things. Some water and a few snacks. You're trying to find him? Have you told the police already? Yes, I did, in fact. But they said they don't have the resources for a search right now. They said they only start a search if people a person is missing for more than 48 hours. It isn't the first time someone went missing in this area. At least a handful of people went missing in there in the last decade. People talk a lot. I've heard rumors that there are strange screams and weird noises coming from the woods. So you should be careful, especially going there at this time of night. There's a road right behind the gas station leading to the mountain. Make sure to stay on it. There could be dangerous wildlife in that area. Thank you. I'll make sure to stay safe. Take care. Okay. I thought I was going to buy something for a second, but I guess not. Um, am I... <laughs> am I going to run into, like, a Wendigo or something? I get the feeling we're going to run into, like, a freaking Wendigo. Okay, so he said... He said the path on the back here is where I need to go. Well... I guess we're going into the woods, so that's fun. You know, I actually, I actually went into the woods by myself once in real life. Uh, there's a, there's like a forest like near where I live, and one of the, one of the roads has like a dirt road that goes off into the middle of the woods, and branching off from that dirt road is actually like a lake. And I remember like going there by myself, and I remember being really terrified because I was just thinking about like mountain lions attacking me even though there aren't mountain lions here like mountain lions don't exist where i live they're extinct but like just like the idea of like there being something in the woods watching me really terrified me i just i just remember being like scared honestly like when i was with other people it was fine but when i was by myself it was like you just get that like itch in the back that's like there's something watching you you don't know what it is hello campsite over here well this is probably where he was my brother's tent looks entirely different I should take still take a closer look oh this is someone else's tent okay hmm? oh my god <laughs> I looked up I looked up because I didn't want to look at whatever scared me <laughs> whoa, whoa, who the fuck are you? You scared the shit out of me. I scared you. I almost had a heart attack myself. What do you want? I hope you're not some kind of pervert or creep. I'm not. I'm searching for my brother. He was hiking in this area. Have you seen him? Uh, nope, I haven't seen him. Wait. You don't even know how he looks like? Look, man, I'm just some guy that likes to hike in, in the woods and sleep in a tent in freezing conditions. I haven't seen anyone in days. I understand. You're planning to go deeper into the forest? Yes, I, I'll search around for the area. I hope I can find my brother, or at least traces of him. Look, you probably think I'm the stoner or something, but last night I had my tent a bit up north, and I heard weird noises coming from the woods. It sounded like a child was crying, but I didn't see anything. It creeped me out. Maybe it was a cryptid. A what? Look, man, do you carry? What do you mean? I'm talking about a piece, you know, something for protection. You mean a gun? No, I don't. Then you shouldn't be here in the first place. It's way too dangerous to go deeper into the forest at night. I'm not going to stop you. I just want to sleep now. Also, one last thing. Don't creep up the tent in the woods at night even ever again. I almost would have shot you. Well, I guess I'm glad you didn't. Me too. Good luck with that, Search. Not what he said, but... 
You know, he makes a good point. I'm pretty sure this guy is a freaking skin stealer. I, I was thinking about that. Like, he's like a skinwalker. I bet you that dude's a freaking skinwalker. I I'm calling it right now. Also, he does have a very good point. I probably should go back and get a gun. It's gonna kind of be a detour here, so I'll cut back if there's like no extra dialogue. Oh, well, well, that's my answer. I guess I'm not cutting out of that. <laughs> Why wouldn't you go back and ask for a gun? The guy literally said, hey, you should probably have a gun. My, my character's an idiot, I'm gonna be honest. He's got, he's got his heart's in the right place, but he's freaking stupid. Hmm. Well, I'm not getting any signs of life so far. I'm like just waiting for a freaking skin stealer to come out of the freaking woods and just chase me. And then I just like look up and panic. You can tell I'm like panicking because I keep looking left to right. I'm just like scoping. When's the next jump scare gonna happen, you know? Well, oh, nope, that, that's a rock. Hmm. I, I'm like, I'm like, it's always the freaking anticipation that gets me, like with this kind of, with these kind of games. It's always the build up that the worst. It's getting really cold. I just set up my tent on the left side of the road. So you mean like down here is what you're saying? Well, it just so happens there's a really flat area of ground. Is this where you want to set up your tent? Oh, well. My fingers are pretty numb. It's hard to build the tent. Oh, well, that's not my fault you didn't come with gloves. Okay, well, we've got a, got a tent, so. It's cold, but I'm falling asleep slowly. I think I heard someone scream, not sure if it's real or imagined. Oh, I think I heard that too, bud. I need to check, it could be my brother screaming for help. We're just gonna, we're just gonna leave the... There's a light deeper in the woods. Wait, where? Oh, that way. <laughs> I used my audio direction to find the sounds. Dude, this is totally a trap. There is no way that this is not like a, a, a trap. I'm going to be running into a Wendigo in a second. I'm just calling it right now. Some strange like magic is going to be happening here. I don't know if I'm ready for it. By the way, don't do this in real life. Don't don't go to a mountain by yourself to find a lost family member by yourself. Like. If the police, like, listen, I, I get the police kind of suck sometimes, but, like, this is the worst thing you could do. Like, you're only just adding on to it. Ugh, I don't know. Don't take my, me, I, I am not good advice for this kind of stuff, so don't listen to my, me if I don't make any sense, I promise. I'm just saying stuff out from my heart. Oh, well, light's flickering. That's how you know shit's about to get real. That's my brother's backpack. He must have been here. Weird, the backpack is completely empty. Nothing in there. Oh, I guess he didn't need the backpack anymore. Because he's a Wendigo. Ooh, it's a scary man. He's a Wendigo. Ooh. Okay, wait. I'm going I'm to I'm scope the building before I go inside. Okay. All right, let's let's go inside. I mean, I think it's probably safer in here than it is out there. Oh, this is this is not the ideal scenario. Can I hide in here? No, I can't. Okay, how about we close the door? We take a quick look around. What the hell? Someone made a picture of my tent and my car. Oh, that's not scary. Is that if we? What is that? Oh, it's just a piece of meat. I thought it was like a little fetus, baby. Somebody's gonna come through that fucking door any second now. Can I lock this? No, I can't. All right, let's turn on the generator. What's the worst that could happen? Yeah, he's just he's just making some spaghetti here. That's all. 
Can I can I turn on the generator? Hello? No? I was honestly kind of expecting to be able to turn on the generator. A little disappointing, but okay. I think the game wants me to go outside. Oh, well, no shit, there's a guy standing out there. <laughs> Really? Your body was never found. This, I told you this was a bad idea. I don't know what this guy was expecting. That was definitely not a good idea. Anyways, I'm going to stop there for now. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I hope you have a wonderful day.